Hey guys, how's it going? I'm playing the bass. I'm remembering how to play the bass guitar and that's my reoccurring theme that I always remember how to play various instruments because I have no time to practice all of them and I always come back to them at some point. This little lesson I want to show you what to do in terms of coming up with bass parts. Number one, don't be afraid to use your root notes. I will just play uh, uh, the thing about playing bass, you have to match the kick of your drummer. So if the drummer is playing, doom, tsu, doom, tsu, doom, tsu, doom, aim for that kind of a rhythm. That's the song in this case. So I will just play just the root notes. Now what you can do as well, and that's your kind of cliche, if you have no idea what to do in terms of bass playing, do the polka 151. If you're on the A string, playing a D, you can play an A, the same fret, same finger, just down a string. Or C to G, or B flat to F, or Whatever. When you reach the bottom, you can do the opposite, one five, by playing it two frets higher on the higher string. So let me just see what I can do here. I'm not going to play one five one pattern all the time. If I don't have time for for that, I guess if I have two or more measures on the same chord, I will try that, so let's see. Okay, sort of. What you can also do is you can do passing notes. So, for example, Instead of that, you can do, and chromatics work very well. The my rule of thumb is just uh, start a full tone lower than the next chord, and you can just do kind of notes leading into the next chord. So that kind of gives it more harmonic context. So. Doing that all the time gets kind of boring, so you have to balance it out with other stuff. Let's see what else they can come up with. That's a kind of cool riff, right? You can just do. If you have, for example, a minor chord, you can play the the root the sixth even the seventh of that chord and that sounds pretty nice uh, the the flat seventh always sounds better than uh regular seventh so let's see another run you can use you can sometimes use the scale of your previous chord and like in this case it's a7 the scale is a major so you can do And the next chord here is D7, so you can just keep playing the root. But every once in a while, you can emphasize the notes of the chord. Just 
play a little arpeggio, like. In this case, actually, it matches the the vocal line a little bit. So every every once in a while, it's just seasoning. You don't have to. You don't want to use all of your tricks every single time. You have to balance it out between just simple bass notes of your chord, root notes, one five one patterns, uh, chromatic kind of runs that lead into the next chord using the scale and uh, lining, uh, lining up the arpeggios like It's just like a bag of tricks. You have to, you have to practice them. You have to uh, read charts as much as possible. All right. Next, the next part in the song is the chorus. The song is kind of unusual, so let's start with just root notes. Jazzify it. Let's see what I'm doing here. I'm I'm not really an expert at playing walking bass, but in essence, when you're playing walking bass, it's just up and down, up and down kind of motion, connecting your chords using chromaticisms. And uh, when in doubt, just line, you know, line up the notes of the chord and just arpeggiate them. So it's E major. <laughs> That's your E major chord. What I'm doing, the next chord happens to be A minor. So I'm doing, uh, playing the notes from the A minor chord. But adding some more notes from that scale. And C major. some extra notes to connect it to, to the next F major chord. G minor. D minor. One, five, one. Spelling out the notes from the arpeggio. One five one. Let me play it again. Let me know guys what you think. I can make more lessons, dissecting more songs, but since I'm practicing the song, I decided to show you my thought process for playing bass. All right, cheers.